Hello everyone. Welcome to your reading for Sagittarius for June of 2021. All right. So I am so excited to announce to you guys that my new book, my first book called It's Not You, It's Your Energy is available for pre-order today. So you can find it on Amazon. It's only 99 cents right now because it is in pre-order status. Um, so 99 cents to download the book. So you can find that down in the description box and also in the comments below. It's going to teach you all about your energy, things that you've never learned before. I don't think anybody else is teaching what I'm teaching the way I'm teaching it. And also how to clear it, how to protect it, and how to heal it, release it, and use it to manifest. So if you want to learn all of that about your energy, it's only 99 cents, right? We're having a pre-launch party right here on YouTube and also in my Facebook groups on Monday night, June 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a lot of fun. I will be giving away, I'll be doing free readings uh, for everybody, for people on there. And then also we'll be giving away some prizes, including signed copies of the book. Also, 20-minute um, sessions with me and some uh, readings too. So you definitely want to make sure you are there to enter to win all of that. And with the excitement, I'm also going old school here and I am giving away a free tarot card reading to somebody that is watching this video right now. So if you want to enter to win a free tarot card reading with me, I'm doing it for every single sign. So you can check out your moon and rising signs as well. Um, just go ahead and comment me in the comments down below. All right, me, M-E, in the comments down below. All right, let's see. And I also have a way to win more prizes. So if you want to interested in that, winning um, access to my courses and also a free trip, you want to stay tuned to the end and I will explain how that all works too. Lots going on this month with the launch of my book. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are excited to learn as well. And these readings so far have been amazing. So I'm excited to do this for you. Overall energy here, the Queen of Cups. This is seeming to be this is the only third reading I've done, but like it's an overall message here for the month of June. It's a message of love. And that's what I got with these heart chakras here, or the hearts here. And it's really about that heart chakra. So really about opening up that heart chakra and living your life with love. So ask yourself the question right now for the month of June here, no matter what day it is for you. Um, have you been opening yourself up to love? Have you been allowing yourself to see things with love more than see things in fear or uh, resentment or anger or anything like that? And really kind of reflect on that. Beginning of the month, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Swords, and we've got the Nine of Wands. So I do feel as though you're taking action towards learning how to manifest, taking action, learning how to use your energy to bring things to you. And in my book, I talk about the energy of money and how you attract it and also how you repel it. So, you know, this is what this seems like to me here is like it's it's a slow moving progress um, for you to be that queen of pentacles where she just gets to sit on her throne and allows things to come to her. She doesn't need to worry about it because she knows that her energy is vibrant enough that it's going to attract what she wants. All she has to do is be clear about her intentions of what she wants to bring in. So Ace of Swords, and I feel as though this could be that new beginning for you, right? Getting on this track of really using that your energy to bring things into your life rather than having to do all the hard manual labor in order to get things. So this could be Re resonating in a way of a job it could even be resonating in the way of a relationship so many of us go on the online dating sites which is like a full-time job right and uh, instead allowing yourself to just magnetize it to you so it doesn't feel like it's so much hard work and also with the nine of wands here i feel like this is a very defensive energy it's powerful because she's strong but she also feels like she needs to protect herself and when you come from a place of you know, knowing who you are and being this queen of pentacles, there's no fire wands around her. There's no lion that she needs to have with her. She knows that she's always protected and she's got these white crystals around her for abundant energy, but it's a very different energy as you see. So with this new beginning, it's about opening yourself up more. Okay. So 
you might feel as though you need to close down but with this card with the overall energy we're going to advise you to keep it open keep that heart open but also stand in who you are and release the energy of feeling like you have to close a part of you to protect yourself instead of creating those boundaries because here in the middle of the month you've got the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles is about a lack of trust you're holding on so tight to something and yet you've got the world right next to it they're making me feel as though there's an ending here in the middle of the month that you know it's time to let go of something and that you're trying to force something with this four of pentacles you're trying to hold on to something so tight but if you could just kind of let go and relax a little bit the world card everything will come flowing in and again that's what this so an overall energy here this month of this I feel like the universe is here giving us the message that it wants us to lean on it it wants us to open up and see things differently and it wants us to to understand that us as humans right in our human mind and our ego what I talk about which is that fear it's like we we depend on that so much like that's our go-to that's that's our comfort zone that's what we do that's our human mind it keeps us in fear a lot of the times because it's trying to keep us safe but i feel like the overall energy here for the month of june so far for the readings i've done is that the energy the universe wants us to release that and to lean on it more because i feel like it's a very underutilized tool that we really have to create happiness and abundance in our lives but we don't lean on it enough and that's what I'm feeling here we, we we hold on to the fear we hold on to the lack of trust that we have and it's like here I am I'm right here ready to help you the universe like but I can't help you if you keep holding on to that that's what I'm, I'm feeling there because here two of swords and the death card so again we're stuck we're blinded but the thing with the two of swords is that you're the one keeping you there you're the one keeping you there and then you have the death card and this is a transformation card this does not mean that someone's going to die it just means that something is ending so you've got two endings here in the middle of the month so something is completely ending here for you but i believe it is a good thing because look at this next row so whatever's happening in the middle of june for you let it be don't try to hold on to it. Let it go. Because there's something so great on the other side of it. You've got the lovers. You've got the moon. You've got the fool. And you've got the page of cups. So all of this is beautiful energy. There's nothing bad that I see here. It's just giving you a little bit of a message to understand you are not alone. You're never alone. Especially in this universe. You have your angels, your guides the universal energy, like it's all there to help you. You just have to learn how to tap into it. And with the lover's card, to me, I love the lover's card because this means it's like your connection to the higher source, your connection to your intuition, your connection to your higher self. And this is about really kind of blending them together. And that's what I feel like is happening here in this month. You're letting go of the humanness here. And I always say my hashtag is uh, spiritually human. We have to learn how to live in both realms. We have to learn how to use the human body because we're spiritual beings. So we've got to learn both. We can't just sit with one. And here at the end of June, I feel like you're merging them together. And you've got the moon card here. So with that full moon coming in at the end of the month, it could really be bringing that to your attention. And there might be some shifts that you make with this full card. You might go on to another journey you might make drastic shifts, you might quit your job, you might start in a new business, you might become a healer, you might <laughs> become a psychic, like you might do whatever, whatever, you might start a new relationship, you might be single, you might break up with somebody. Because again, bring into that heart chakra, they're saying like, it just feels as though, you know, this time is about you. You know, this time is about you. And anyone else that doesn't know that with this page of cups, like it's just time to take that break and take that time out and to really reflect and meditate and clear your mind and use your energy to really move forward here. All right, let's see what other messages they have. 
All right, drop an emoji in the comments below if this is resonating with you. What other message do we have for the sign of Sagittarius? So budget lessons comes up. So especially if you're quitting a job or something like that, like you might have to be learning how to take care of your money. You know, if something is changing or shifting, you might want to make sure that you've got your money um, all figured out here. You also have the hangman, which says suspense and waiting. So you might be waiting for some information. You might be waiting to see what happens before you take this leap of faith here. You might be wanting some information. And you might be waiting for something to end here. You might just be waiting, knowing that it's coming. A lot of you, they're saying, or use your intuition, like you, you are using that intuition. And then you've got the Ten of Cups here, which says, Blessed Love Life. So whatever this ending is, it is a divinely guided ending, and it is for the sole purpose of connection more to yourself, more to your higher self, more to your spirit guides, um, to your spirituality, to your religion, whatever it is for you. Um, it's for that sole purpose. There's going to be a lot of good that comes out of whatever ends. So we've got good fortune here with the nine of um, coins. And then we've got the six of cups here with reflection. And what did I say? It's all about reflection this month. Really tapping into what's really going on beneath the surface for you. And allowing yourself as much of as much fear as you have here in the middle of the month to let something go. To let it go and to trust. Trust that things will be okay. All right, what question do we need for the sign of Sagittarius? Oh, you guys, you guys, you are going to get two. All right, let's go with this one. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take me? What will it take for me to feel? well and it says if my body could talk it would say and then fill in the blank today's soul action feed your body what it needs to feel nourished appreciated and loved make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level so what can you do to to give your body what it needs i was actually thinking of doing like an intuitive eating course um, to really tap into your intuitive intuition, your intuitive side, uh, when you're dealing with your body, like, what does it need? Sometimes your body needs to rest, but we push it right to exercise. Sometimes we want to eat something, but we say, no, we can't do that because it's not healthy, even though that's what your body needs at that moment. Right? So if you actually tap into your intuition before making these decisions regarding your body, you know, eating and, and, um, exercising, it can really make a difference for you. Um, but a lot of times we guilt ourselves after eating something that we wanted, right? But the difference is knowing what a craving is versus what your intuition is telling you. It's very different. The last question here is, when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? And it says, go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and your eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the little things. Note to self, laugh more often. Today's soul action, make somebody laugh today. So bringing that love, bringing that light, bringing that heart, right? Opening that up and just having fun. And again, that is when you're laughing, right? You're tapping into that energy of the universe. And you're tapping into that abundant energy. And this is where you're going to let things flow and start this new journey here. Okay. So I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification to get notified when I have new videos coming out. And then if you wanted to um, enter for that chance to win a free tarot card reading, all you have to do is just comment me in the comments below. And then also, if you wanted to learn how to win all these other prizes, including free access to my courses and also a trip, um, I have a private Facebook group specifically for people that want to help me spread the word about my book. Um, so if you want, all the details are in there about it. So if you want to join that and see what it's all about, 
um, if you follow through with everything, then you get these uh, chances. It's gonna be a lot of it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, especially on June fifteenth. So you got to be available on June fifteenth, which is a Tuesday, anytime during the day, um, no matter what time zone you're in, it doesn't matter. Okay, so if you want that, you can find that in the description box below as well. Make sure you show up to the pre-launch party if you want to get readings done for yourself and chances to win other things. All right, so that's on Monday, June fifteenth. I want to say much love to you. Start smiling. Start laughing. This is a beautiful month. Just remember in the middle of the month to let things go. Try not to hold on to things that the universe is kind of divinely guiding that it goes. So let it go. Let it go. There's so much more on the other side for you. All right. Much love. Have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.